So, hello everybody. Thank you for watching my talk about the Mama City, Synological Diagnostics in New Dimension. And in this talk, I want to focus on the technical issues of this fascinating modality. So, what it's all about. There are a whole bunch of modalities we have actually in our hands to do Synological Diagnostics. First, we are talking about analysis of our patient. We are talking about inspection, palpation, but also we are talking about the technical issues like mammography, contrast enhanced mammography. We are talking about tomosynthesis, but we are also talking about ultrasound and its extensions like duplex sono and elastography. And also we are talking about MRI, contrast medium and all the stuff we are doing every day. So why do we need some more? Why do we need the MAMO CT? Let's go into detail. There is mammography. This is definitely no 3D imaging. We have a lot of superimposition. We can use contrast media and we have a good delineation of microcalcifications, but Due to the compression of the breast, we almost have no comfort for our patient. Secondly, tomosynthesis. This is going into 3D, at least using the systems which do a 50 degree sweep of the tube. We get rid of the superimposions and actually yet we can't use contrast media. We have a good look at the microcalcs likely better than in the mammography, but as in mammography, we have a problem with the comfort due to the compression of the breast. Thirdly, we are talking about sonography, ultrasound of the breast. This is 3D imaging without any superimposition, but we can't use contrast media. We don't see anything of microcalcs, and yeah, it is dependable on the examinator if it has a good comfort or not, that's a problem. Then MRI, this is definitely 3D imaging without any superimposition. We can use or we should even use contrast media to give it a functional aspect, but we won't see anything of our microcuts and concerning the comfort we have to talk about because the examination will at least take 20 to 30 minutes to go. So definitely we, till this time, had no 3D examination with a high patient comfort, which is superimposition free representation of the breast and has a visibility of microcalcifications at the same time with the possibility of using a contrast medium. So in this gap, in my opinion, the CT fits perfectly. But what about the comfort? Why do we squeeze the breast? Why do we have to compress in the mammography? This is necessary due to the reduction of motion artifacts and blurring of the images, to reduction of tissue superimposition and the improvement of the local resolution in the mammography, at least for the reduction of the X-ray dose and the reduction of the scattered radiation and hardening of the bead. And also an improvement of contrast and detectability of anomalies and the exploitation of the dynamic range of the detector. So we have to compress to do good mammography. But this is running in the main problem of mammography, which is pain. Pain is the main reason why a mammography is rejected. And this occurs between 25 and 46% of the examined women. At least 91% of the examined women said that the mammography was painful and up to 15% told, told us about intensive pain. So there are factors we can change and there are some factors we can't really do, do, do anything. 
So the fact is we can't really work on is the premenopausal pausal status of the woman. The premenstrual status of the woman at least one week before. And mastopathy, which means heart and um, mastopathic tissue of the breast and also the hormone therapy, which is there or is not there. On the other hand, we can do something to have a, a technician which is doing a good job, which handles the patient comfortably and knows what she's doing perfectly. We can change the circumstances, the atmosphere in which a mammography is done. So we have to take care about a calm situation, about nice music, about the possibility to get relaxed for our patients. And also we have to look at the used mammography device. And there are some vendors on the market which, which really take care about the compression force and what they are doing to the breast. But there's a lot of room and a lot of space to find. And in this gap, purposely fills the Mama CT. This is an image of the system we are using. And on this image, you see the technical part, like um, yeah, the table on which the patient lies, an opening for the breasts, and all the technical parts are um, down below this part, and I will go to this image later. The technical aspects. Um, Computer tomography is used and useful in our hands for at least 40 years. And it is becoming a routine examination in every radiological department. But the main difference about a normal CT and the MAMA CT is the direction of examination. So if you look at a normal CT, we are talking about a tube and the detector and the body of examination is running through the system in an actual direction. So we have definitely, even with the modern systems, a very short examination time, about five to 10 seconds for the whole body. But in every image, the whole body is irradiated. And at least due to the size of the body, we have a large distance between the tube and the detector of about at least 70 centimeters. So from a physiological um, kind of view, there's a re resolution of about approximately uh, 0 0.5 millimeters possible, but um, that's not a good idea to go. The new MAMA CT is going a different way. Because here we have the examination in a frontal plane along the longitudinal axis of the breast. There's no radiation to the rest of the body. And we have a small distance between, between the tube and the detector rotating around the breast. Therefore, we are coming out with an extremely high resolution, which is possible now between 0.3 and 0.1 millimeters, which is really astonishing. Doing this and examining the patient in, in, in this position, we are talking about a very high patient comfort. We have no compression of the breast. We have no narrow tube to go into, and we have a short examination time about 12 seconds per breast. The whole examination is done in five to seven minutes. On the other hand, we have a highest acquirable, highest image quality, which, mean, which means we have a three-dimensional imaging without any superimposition. We can use contrast media, and so we are going for a functional examination, and at least we have a very low radiation exposure. So 
So looking at our prior chart, the gap which is still there is completely and exactly filled with the new MANA CT. We have a 3D imaging without any superimposing. We can use contrast media to do it as a functional imaging. We have a perfect delineation of microcalcifications in a 3D manner. And we have a very high comfort for the examined patient. So let me go deeper into detail concerning the system which is on the market now. The technical structure of the scanner you, hear, you see here. There's the patient table. And the patient is there lying in prone position. So the breast is going through the opening for the breast. And underneath the table, there are the technical components. And when you go and open the door of the scanner, you see this image, you see these parts. On the left side, there's the, the detector. We have a breast cover. You can see how far the breast will reach in this position with some markings here, for example, 160 millimeters. And on the right side, you see the X-ray tube. Down below, there's the mirror for the correct positioning of the breast into the breast cover. So this whole part, the whole detector and X-ray tube would go to go around the breast to do the spiral scan. To look this at this procedure, I have a short video for you. You see, starting with imaging, the unit is right under the chest wall of the patient. The whole examination per breast take about 12 seconds. So we have a very short examination time due to the setup of all these things. We have no scattered radiation and reduced artifacts, at least with a very high comfort for the examining patient. And when I start the video, you see the rotating of tube and detector around the breast. At the same time, it goes down right in the longitudinal axis of the breast to the nipple. And after 12 seconds, the whole scanning procedure is done and the system will stop. That's it. That's the whole scanning for one side. The technical specifications of each part are high end. So if you look at the X-ray tube, which is used, it has a very small spot with 0 0.3 millimeters focal size. Then we have a scan. It's a spiral tone beam CT scan with up to 2000 projections in up to 12 seconds. We are doing this with an extremely low dosage and without any breast compression. The main point in this setup is definitely the detector, because we are talking about cadmium tellurid detector, uh, which can realize a pixel or at least a voxel size about 1.1 millimeter. And so we are coming out with an extremely high resolution with a high sensitivity in the same time. Later on, the reconstruction of, of these images are done in an isotropic and high resolution manner. That means isotropic, from each point you look at these voxels, they have the same size. So let me get deeper into detail concerning the special detector the system is using. In a normal way, in a normal CT, we have the X-ray coming into the scintillator of the system, of the detector. And the scintillator is producing kind of lightning. And this is um, resolved by the photodiodes. And the photodiodes then send some electrical currents to a chip. And this chip is then producing a kind of image, a kind of electrical information. 
looking at the modern photon counting X-ray detector of the Mama City, there are the X-ray beams directly transferred through the cadmium tellurid semiconductor in a, a kind of direct conversion into an electrical currents and into an image. So doing this, we have a direct conversion of X-ray photons into an image. We are at least doing a single photon counting and energy measurement. We have an exactly a high geometric accuracy and an extremely high efficiency of the process. Conclusion. So what can I say from a technical art? These are three Im images of the breast without any superimposition. We have adding contrast media, a functional examination of the breast. We have isotropic images with an extremely high resolution of up to 0 0.15 millimeters. We have an excellent contrast between the glandular tissue and the calcification. We have a short examination time about 12 seconds per breast, at least five to seven minutes for the whole examination. We do this with an extremely low dosage and we have an outstanding patient comfort at the same time. The indication for the Mama City procedure, at least in my opinion, are very painful mammography. Patients who reject to do a mammography in fear of pain or because they know that mammography is painful to them or for personal reasons. We can use it as an assessment tool for further clarification of conspicuous findings like micropellets. Um, we can use contrast media to rule out, for example, a multicentricity, multicentricity of a tumor or to find out about the exact tumor size. We can use it for the planning of surgery and for the monitoring of the neoadjuvant chemotherapy. On the other hand, we can also use it by patients which uh, have contraindications for the MRI, like pacemakers or claustrophobia, Maybe they have implants or even they have an allergy to contrast media which are used in MRI. The costs right now are at least about 350 euros per examination complete. And the billing on this status is um, not possible by the statutory health insurance. We do the scheduling via our head office or direct, directly in my patient, in my practice. So thank you for attention. When you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, k.bitter at mvz.de. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good time.